thousands of years, humans looked up at the dawn sky and saw a brilliant light. We called it the morning star. We named it Venus after the goddess of beauty. From the safety of Earth, she looks like a paradise, a twin sister to our own world. Roughly the same size, the same gravity, and made of the same stardust. Astronomers once dreamed that beneath those white clouds there might be oceans, jungles, and even civilizations. But they were wrong. Beauty is a trap. Beneath that shining veil lies the most hostile environment in the solar system. If Earth is the Goldilocks planet, Venus is the wicked sister. Let's descend into the nightmare. As we sink through the upper atmosphere, the blue sky vanishes. You are instantly blinded by a thick, suffocating fog. But this isn't water. These clouds are made of concentrated sulfuric acid. If you were here, you wouldn't just be wet, you would be dissolved. The winds here scream at 300 kilometers per hour, faster than the strongest hurricane on Earth. They circle the planet in a never-ending storm that refuses to die. As we go deeper, the winds suddenly stop, the silence returns, and the true horror begins. Touchdown. Welcome to the surface. The first thing you notice is the light. It is dim down here. The clouds are so thick that the sun is nothing more than a hazy yellow smear in the sky. It looks like an eternal twilight on a dying world. Then you feel the weight. The atmosphere is so heavy that the pressure is 90 times greater than on Earth. Standing here feels like being one kilometer deep under the ocean. You wouldn't even have time to take a breath. The weight of the air would crush you instantly. And then there is the heat. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, hotter even than Mercury, which sits right next to the sun. temperature soars to a hellish 475 degrees Celsius. It is hot enough to melt lead, hot enough to turn rock into magma. This heat is trapped by a runaway greenhouse effect. The carbon dioxide atmosphere works like a thick blanket, letting heat in, but never letting it out. It is an incinerator never turns off. Humans tried to visit this hellscape. In the 1970s and 80s, the Soviet Union launched a series of probes called Venera. These robots were built like tanks. They were designed to survive the apocalypse. They landed they sent back a few grainy photos of yellow rocks and cracked soil, and then they died. The longest any robot survived was just 127 minutes. The 
electronics fried, the metal melted, the cameras went black. Their carcasses are still down there today, melting monuments on a dead world. Scientists believe that billions of years ago, Venus was just like Earth. It had cool oceans, it had blue skies, it might have even had life. But something went wrong. The planet reached a tipping point and the oceans boiled away, leaving behind this graveyard. When we look at Venus tonight, we're not just looking at a planet, we're looking at a ghost. We're looking at a warning of what happens when a world burns.